Federal Competition Consumer Protection Commission, uh, in collaboration uh, with the Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offenses Commission, uh, National Information Technology Development Agency, and the Nigerian Police Force, has raided some illegal financial institutions in Lagos State. The FCCPC says the raid was in response to customers' complaints of malpractices by the financial institutions. We have details in this report. Electronic banking system is an innovative service delivery mode that offers diversified financial services like cash withdrawal, funds, transfers, cash deposit payments of utilities and other financial inquiries. In recent times, users of these services have continued to complain of issues of violating privacy of lenders in debt recovery process, and in some cases, interest rates violate the ethics of how proper lending is done. The joint enforcement team led by the FCCPC has begun its operations, and the first point of call is Lagos. People orders today. Uh, two of the orders are going to uh, vendors, app stores or Google store or Play Store where uh, some of these apps are available to shut down or what you call the drawdown of the apps uh, so that people will not be victimized anymore. Secondly, there are some orders that have gone to banks today, freezing accounts that they are using to operate this business until we can gain some clarity into each of the business. I must add though that not all money lenders are operating illegally. And that is one of the reasons why it has taken time for us to tease out the ones that we want to proceed with, with respect to enforcement. Does it mean that the people we're proceeding against today are the only ones? No. But this is where we have information now, and it's where we're starting. Chief Executive Officer of the FCCPC art that the Commission is aware of the fact that this could lead to loss of jobs, but not at the detriment of other Nigerians who innocently use the services of these financial institutions. Sealing up a business is not something we take lightly. It's an ultimate. We would rather not seal up a business. But if the entirety of a business is illegal and victimizing people and leaving it open will lead to further exploitation, we would have no choice but to seal. The employment of what? Six, seven, ten dozen people uh, balanced against the kind of conduct that is going on to millions of people. I mean, employing people in furtherance of an illegal objective can never be an excuse to allow that illegal objective to continue. The FCCPC insisted upon investigations. The loan firms in question were neither Nigerian companies nor registered in the country. This implies that they are not registered with relevant agencies in charge of their daily functions.